Hi guys, this is DIGORATEK. Today, I will show you how to download and install Packet Tracer. We have the version for Windows, version for Linux and also for Mac OS. Let's begin. Open your web browser. You can go directly to this link skillsforall.com. This is the alternative link for netacad.com. You can also go to netacad but you will also direct it to this link. In order to download the packet tracer, you need to have an account. This is totally free and it's very easy. To sign up, click on the account logo. You can log in if you already have an account. If you don't have an account then click on sign up. Choose your country or region of residence. Next is choose your year of birth. Also choose your month of birth. Once done, click continue. You need to input the required details. Make sure to use valid email address and also make sure to remember your password because you will use it to log in later. You can click to view the password requirements. At least 8 characters, a lowercase and uppercase letter, a number and at least one special character. Also, password shouldn't match your email ID. Once completed, click Create Account. You must accept the terms and conditions. You can check the other box if you want to receive future promotions. Click Accept and Continue. We have now successfully created our account. Now, scroll down. Click Install Cisco Packet Tracer. Scroll down again. Look for Download Cisco Packet Tracer. Click on the download link. You will be redirected to the Packet Tracer download window. Scroll down and you will see all the version of Packet Tracer available. We have the version for Mac OS. We have the version for Ubuntu and lastly, the version for Windows. You may choose what operating system you are running or you want to install Packet Tracer. To download, simply click on it. While waiting for it to download, you can check the installation instructions. Alternatively, you can check the links on the description below for the installation guide. You can also check the system requirements. For Windows, it supports Windows 11, 10 and 8.1. For Mac OS it supports 10.14 or newer. For Ubuntu it support 20.14 LTS operating system. It supports 64 and 86-bit processors. At least 4 GB of RAM. Lastly, 1.4 GB free disk space. I will download all these versions of Packet Tracer. You can also download it from the links on the description below. You will have the option download link for Mac OS, version for Linux, and version for Windows. I will keep the download links updated to the latest versions released. Let's check the downloaded executable files. Again, for the installation guide, you can check the links on the description below. Now, since I'm running Windows 11 then we will install the version for Windows. Simply double click on the executable file. We will leave the installation process to default. Accept the license agreement then click next. We are not going to change the installation folder so click next. We will use the default folder so click next. I want to create shortcut icon on desktop which is already selected so just click next. Click install to proceed. Wait for it to finish the installation process. This will takes time so I will fast forward the video. A shortcut icon has been automatically created on desktop. Launch Cisco Packet Tracer is already enabled so once we click finish then the application will automatically start. You will be asked if would you like to run multi-user when application starts. I will choose no since I want to use it only for myself. Choose Allow Access. Now, choose how you want to sign in using the following options. If you have a Cisco Networking Academy account then you may choose that option. Since we used Cisco Skills for All when we signed up then we will choose that option. But first, if you are using your personal computer then you may check Keep Me Logged In for 3 months. This means, you will be logged in for 3 months so you won't log in every time you run this packet tracer. This is not recommended for public or shared computers. Now choose Cisco Skills for All. 
you will be redirected to the login link. In my case I was redirected to different browser which is Vivaldi which in fact, we used Mozilla browser to sign up during the process. Well, for this case, I can log in here if I want or I can copy this link and paste it to Mozilla browser which we're currently logged in. It will tell you that you have successfully logged into Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, let's go back to Packet Tracer. Notice that we are already logged in. To check the current version, go to Help. Choose About. From here, you can see the current version we are running. Since I enabled Keep Me Logged In for 3 months, let's try to close the application then open again. Notice that it did not require us to log in. If you want to log out your account, go to File. Choose Exit and Log Out. Now, let's launch the application again. It will now require for login since we log out our account. For Windows users, if you want to do offline installation then you can check the link on the description below for the offline installation guide. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.